Hi, I'm Dr. Tegan. And I'm Dr. Belinda from the Pet Circle Vet Squad. And we're here to answer some of the web's most searched questions for a new kitten. New kitten not eating. Yeah, obviously that can be really stressful. You bring this new kitten home and they don't want to eat what you've, you've got for them. So, you know, it's a big transition for them to, to go from one location to another. Other reasons are that they might not be quite used to that sort of food. It's a really good idea to ask the shelter or the breeder what they're feeding the kitten currently. So then you can, you know, feed them what they're used to yep. before. If you want to change the diet, that's fine, but you want to do that gradually once they've settled in. The other thing that you can try and do to entice them to, you know, eat the food is maybe warm it up or add a little bit of warm water can really be helpful for, for new kittens when they come home. New kitten hiding. That's really common, you know, you bring a new kitten home, it's such a big change for them. You know, often they've come from, they've had siblings or a mum, so everything's so foreign for them. And to keep themselves feeling safe, you know, they'll, they'll often hide. Particularly, you know, you might find them underneath the couch or underneath a bed, something like that. And um, I guess the first thing I would say is that's completely normal. Yep. And what you want to do is try to make the kitten feel as comfortable as they can. So. If they're happy under the couch, let them hang out under the couch. Make sure they've got access to food and water and, and litter. And um, maybe just give them a bit of time to adjust. So I really like to recommend Feel Away. Um, it's a pheromone which helps you know cats to feel calm and it can be really great um, as a plug-in or a spray for pets when cats when they're first coming home. I think what you want to do when you bring home a new kitten is avoid overstimulating them, stressing them out. So you know, don't introduce them to other pets in the household straight away. If you've got kids, you know, don't let them be too full on. For, boisterous. Yeah, yeah. boisterous. And for try and, yeah, try and be quiet and just give them a chance to really settle in. And you absolutely want to try to avoid forcing them out of their hiding place, so grabbing them and dragging them out or those kind of things are just going to be a negative experience and probably stress them out even more. And it'll probably just take them longer to adjust. So they're, you know, they're hiding because it's their safe place and they feel secure there. The best way to make them feel more secure is to just give them time to adjust. New kitten crying at night. I think it's important to check in with them. Like if you do wake up and you hear them crying, go and make sure they're okay. You know, they haven't got their heads stuck in a, yeah. a gate or something like that. It is a bit of a balancing act to try and get between, you know, making sure that they're okay and they're settled in, but then not wanting to reinforce it. So the best thing is to, you know, set them up where you want them to be. So if you're wanting your kitten to sleep in your room, then you start that from the very beginning. If you want to put them in the laundry at night, then set up a really nice cozy bed for them and make them feel really warm and comfortable in there and introduce them to what's going to be, you know, the ongoing thing that's going to work for your household. And there's other things you can do. So you can put like a nice warm um, hot water bottle, not boiling, but warm hot water bottle. Wrapped you know in what towel. I love is those, you know, like the toys that have, you know, the warming pads or the little little heartbeats that you can put in there because that mimics what they used to do with their mum. So it really helps them to settle in. Yeah, that can be really comforting for them. And, you know, just making sure they've got everything else they need, food, water, uh, litter tray as well, because they probably will need to get up in the night at some stage. Kittens only have very small little bladders. Yeah, they just have to learn to sort of soothe and settle themselves, and, and they will. New kitten, diarrhea. One of the common reasons that we see that kittens will have diarrhea is, you know, they come to a new home, they have a change of food, they have tiny little sensitive tummies and they can get diarrhea just from a, a change of diet. I think it's also important to remember that uh, things like parasites can also cause diarrhea and kittens are really susceptible to parasites, so things like worms. So making sure that if your kitten does have diarrhea, you're up to date with your worming. Wherever you're adopting from, you know, asking them questions about whether the worming's up to date so that you can make sure that they have everything that they need and that you're not gonna have any issues with worms. It's important too to realise that diarrhea can cause kittens to become dehydrated quite quickly. So if your new kitten does have diarrhea and you know, it's getting worse, you're not seeing any improvement, it's really watery or there's blood or mucus, or if they just seem otherwise unwell, probably best just to get a, a vet to check them out, just make sure there's nothing else going on. New kitten, kissing at older cat. 
Yeah, good idea to keep them separate to start off with. So making sure they each have their own like safe zone where they've got access to all the resources they need. So own litter trays, food and water. And then probably what you would do the first couple of days is maybe let them each explore each other's safe zone without them being there so they can sniff and get used to the smells. And when you do introduce them, make sure they've each got a sort of path of retreat so they don't feel trapped. The last thing you want to do is put the kitten or the older cat in a situation where they're really scared and they can't get away. It's important to manage your expectations, right? So not every cat is going to be best friends with every other cat. And there are plenty of households with multiple cats and the cats are just happy to have their own little space. They pass like yep. ships in the night. They're not, not best buddies. And that's normal. As long as the cats are safe and not stressed out, you know, they're not beating each other up. Yeah. That can be really normal. Yeah, you know, some cats will just retreat to separate areas of the house and that's fine. You know, they don't need to be best friends to to be in a multi-cat household, to, to coexist together. But if you are finding that you have cats that, you know, they might be fighting or it's, you know, they're, they're stressed out by the living situation, you know, feel free to, to reach out to the Pet Circle vets. Um, and there are lots of different things that you can try um, to help with their stress levels, which can often improve the situation. And if you do have any further questions about your kitten, you can always connect with a Pet Circle vet online seven days a week.